Hello and welcome to Complete Games with me, James. Hope you're doing well. Something a little bit different from me today. I'm going to show you some of the work that I've been putting into making my thumbnails and I hope perhaps to inspire you guys to make some better thumbnails. One of the games I've been playing at the moment on my Complete channel is Ark Survival Evolved and one of the great things about this game is it's able to utilize the full suite of Nvidia Ansel. Now, there is quite a few games out that uh, can utilize um, NVIDIA Ansel. If you head across to NVIDIA's website, you can go and check out a list of the supported games. Right, okay, so this, uh, let's just jump across into Ark Survival Evolved. You have to boot your game in single player, but once you've enabled the software to run, all you do is hit Alt F2 and you're greeted with this menu. And we want a super resolution photo. And as you can see, it's paused everything, it's taken the UI off of the screen. And we can now, we can sort of wander around in the 3D as well. So let's try and get a better angle of where this T-Rex was roaring. And um, it's already got some details and filters on. I'll just take it off. So this is what this shot originally looked like. And let's just try and frame our shot. We'll have enough room for some writing. Okay, so. Uh, first of all, we're going to go to depth of field. Now, this is this is a great filter to play around with. Um, you can basically make it look like a very expensive camera, and uh, you can sort of blur the background but keep the sharpness of like I've got the T-Rex in the foreground. This is keeping this all sharp, but just blurring the background a bit. And we can also go to details here. I like bringing up the HDR tanning all the way up because that really does bring up a lot of detail. Perhaps play around with the clarity and sharpness. Mm, say around here. And I think we need to take the bloom off, really. It's making a bit blight. It's making it a bit bright. Okay, and what else can we add here? Um, there's so many filters to choose from. I mean, really, you know, you've just got to get creative with this stuff. Um, at this point, we can also adjust the brightness and contrast here. So this is a good point to do it at as well. So let's just bring up some highlights, change the contrast a little bit and the exposure. Yeah, kind of liking that. I think that's where the T-Rex was roaring. That's why it's kind of blurred at the back there. That's his breath. A little bit where the trees look blurry so I'm just trying to change the focus depth a little bit without blurring his tail and I think maybe you know maybe here yeah that looks cool I'm liking that I'm liking that okay so let's snap that and as you can see we've just taken that at a times two resolution but you can take this you know right up to times eight and if we was to do it at times eight resolution, uh, you can see this is gonna be quite a big file. It literally takes a close up image of everything and really brings up the detail. Um, but we're not gonna get that much detail in a thumbnail, so we don't really need an image of that high quality. So we'll just cancel that for a second. But you can see really, it, it won't do it any justice on YouTube, but we can like go for, I don't know, say times four. And this is really, really going to take a fantastic shot and bring up all of the detail in this picture. Okay. And, um, but like I say, times two 1080 is, 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 is plenty good enough for our, our thumbnail. Okay. Now there's one more filter I want to play around with. I'm going to just take the depth of field off and show you one other thing you can do that really makes this next process a little bit easier and add in the green screen. So here, if we just play around with the focus depth on this and perhaps, well, I'm liking that without the sky. There we go. We can just get rid of the sky here and because we're making the graphics card do the work to figure out where the background is, it really does make the job of editing so much easier 
especially when we come to wanting to put something a little bit brighter and to stand out and look a bit more professional. This is exactly how we do it. And there we go, Alt F2, and it just unpaused where we were shooting. But we could literally float around anywhere on the island and take a shot of anything here. Okay, so I'm gonna head across into uh, Photoshop and I'm gonna show you another cool little trick. Go File, New, and we want the width of 1280 by 720. And then we wanna to go to File and Place Embedded. And we're gonna go and take that screenshot of the T-Rex. That's lined up perfectly, so we'll just place that there. Now next, we want to go um, over to the top here and press select and we want to drop down to color range and see this black area we want to make sure that this is set right so there's no white As you can see there's a little bit of white there so we want this completely black from the background and it has and you can see there's the little magic ants that are going and dancing around what we've got but we want the inverse of that we want the opposite of that so we just hit select inverse and now it's got the t-rex and all the foreground and it's just cut out the green now this saves you having to go around and just individually cut all of this now all you need to do is layer via copy and switch these two off and there we go we've cut our image out really well and quite often when you have to use the magic wand and walk around and cut things out of an image it never really comes out right but using nvidia really helps out with this okay so next we're going to go file and we're going to go place embedded and if we just go here i've got something that i've grabbed earlier just a little bright background i'm going to stretch this out to the full size and then just yeah just place that there and if we just swap our layers around and there we go have something a little bit more bright and distinguishing and like I say, you can be as creative as you want. This is not a set pattern as to how to do things. Um, and uh, let's just put some text up the top here. Um, let's say, epic thumb nails. Something like that. And not quite sure about the color there. So let's just change that I don't know maybe something a little bit brighter green and then if we just click here and go into bl blending options um, I'll just bring this menu down perhaps add a stroke around the outside and a gradient overlay and, and let's put a, a drop shadow on there as well something like that and there you go I think we could probably make it a little bit bigger or something but you get the idea you get the general idea here and um, perhaps we can get away with there we go something a little bit bigger easier to read but it's just you guys just got to be creative with it and there we go it's one way of doing something I'm going to export that so that's one method of doing something on Photoshop Okay, one other quick idea I want to give you guys as well is if you go to defont.com, you can get loads and loads of different texts and uh, they're all free. You can donate if you want, of course, to any of the authors, but let's just go and have a look at the top. And here we go, look, scary Halloween. I like that lemon milk one, but yeah, there we go. Look, we're, we're near Halloween. Perhaps uh, what we need to do is just download this and if we just go into this folder here and open it, click on the actual document itself and as you can see up the top here, yeah, I'm liking the look of that if we just install it, it won't take two seconds to install it and if I just jump back into Photoshop um, just here and we go to Text. and we just highlight this this text I do like that Oblux Plex that I've been using it's the one I've been using quite a lot actually recently I think that one's quite bold but yeah here are some first uh, Halloween so what was it scary um, there it is there and there you go 
you know you can change it to anything you want really and um, I can you can spend quite a lot of time on defont.com just having a look around at all of the um, awesome text ideas there as well okay so there's a few ideas to really really make your thumbnails look a lot more professional there I know some of you don't have access to Photoshop but that's okay do you ask how do you have access to a mobile phone we should do if you're on a YouTube channel okay so there's a great app called from Google Play called uh, pixel lab it's free to use and uh, yeah let's just get into it right now and I'm just gonna put something quick together and just show you how easy this is now let's just assume that you've taken a still shot you've been using perhaps even OBS to record in and you've just taken a still shot of something of part of your game by pressing print screen and grabbing it from your pictures or something like that upload it into your Dropbox grab it onto your phone or however you get your images from your phone even if you just plug it into your computer I suppose we boot up pixel lab okay so we're just going to go into Pixel Lab right now, and um, okay, so let's import a picture. I'm going to use this one first. In fact, let's not do that. Let's go image size. If we remember it was 1280 by 720 that we needed as our size. I'm going to stretch this image across here. I like that. That'll do. I think that'll do. Let's add some text and edit text and we'll say eat thumbnails there we go epic thumbnails something like that like that let's go to styles we've got different types of um, text in here let's go for something like that perhaps let's um, I don't know brighten that up we can change the color there's loads of stuff I mean it's guys you've just got to get creative with this Add some 3D, that's without it. Okay, yeah, no, I like that. Um, where's color? I'm sure we must be able to do color. Let's change that to, I think, perhaps a yellow. If we can find a yellow. So, something like that. <clears throat> something like that. And uh, there you go. We can just go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner and just put export image 1280 by 720 and we'll just save that to gallery I think it might just it might just take me onto an advert here or something yeah it has um, okay so it's gonna make me watch a 30 second advert Let's just get rid of the sound so you're gonna have to watch a, uh, an advert just to be able to do that not for 30 seconds can I actually cancel the advert yes thank you I guess you can buy the app if you actually want to buy the app but the important thing is there's no watermarks on that and uh, yep um, it's yeah another way that you can design your thumbnails now um, I'm certainly not a internet guru um, they will tell you that sticking in your face people are more likely to click on your thumbnails but I can guarantee you one thing people are more likely to click on your thumbnails if you've gone to the effort of doing something like that as opposed to of not bothering in the first place so give it a go see if you end up getting more views as well um, let me know as well down in the comments if you found any games that are using Nvidia Ansel and if you're using it too because it is really good fun even if you're not out for doing thumbnails just taking some epic screenshots is really really good fun using that software so I highly recommend giving it a try if you can find a game that's using it like I say pixel lab another one there as well what else have we thrown at you defont.com that's another free site for all of your fonts and texts there's lots of ways to be able to improve your images and thumbnails and you know let's face it the first there's an old saying the first bite is with the eye and it is true you know it's not exactly clickbait uh, if it's relevant to the subject that certainly doesn't mean you can't tidy it up but um, if I was you I personally wouldn't rely on the randomly generated thumbnails that YouTube has to offer and I would just go that extra effort let me know if that was a helpful video and don't forget if Ark Survival Evolved is your thing come and jump on board at the moment we're doing the complete series and uh, I think we're nearing the halfway point but it's been getting quite difficult so come and join me down there down below in the comments if that tutorial was uh, of any use to you until next time 
I'm James from Complete Games and I'll see you.